I was formally introduced to an organization known as Farm to Market Alliance. They capacity built me, they helped me train and exposed me to benchmark from different farmers in different counties. I do farm maize, beans, groundnuts, I have pineapples, I have bananas, I have onions. To add on more, I do also sorghum. And on top of it, I do bird, the poultry farming of ornamental birds. If you want the guinea fowls, the turkeys, the pigeons, I also do farming. I also do a small dairy. I've trained close to a hundred farmers. Out of the hundred that I've trained, 60 have adopted. Majority are using the chemical way of weeding. Majority are doing residue retention. I've also helped those farmers to come together so that they form this community-based organization which will help them to have a voice and also to voice when it comes to issues market, when it comes to issues input, they can buy in bulk and they go the retail way. I also trained them in composting, how to make compost manure, which materials are required, what are the conditions, when should you make compost manure. I've also enlightened them on doing soil testing to know which fertilizer or which components are my soil missing. In so doing, you find that the yields are increasing. Through doing conservation of agriculture, I've been able to produce to an extent that the surplus can be sent to market. And when you send the surplus to market, the income increases. You cost save on those money that were to be used to purchase the foodstuffs. And when you cost save, they can be used to settle other enterprises or to run other enterprises. So that one that comes from you, put it in another project. So I've been able to invest, I've been able to increase food at home, I've been able to increase my income, and also I've been able to hone skills. So I want to urge the young people, let's shift our minds, let's demystify the idea that agriculture is those people who did not go to school, who do things the conventional way. Let's come back and have our energies refocused to produce. When we produce, you should also know what to produce, like now. People are the whole generation are producing maize. So you need to behave in a manner that when you learn that the market is going to be flooded with the maize, you shift your attention from maize farming, you move to other crops so that you can dictate the prices of market as time goes by. What I carry into the future in years to come ahead, I'm of opinion of starting a center of excellence, a place where we'll have an agricultural hub.